Nijat Abbaso is a 28-year-old grandmaster from Azerbaijan. In FIDE World Cup 2023, happening in Azerbaijan, Abbaso had a dream run where he reached the semi-finals and faced Magnus Carlsen. In the quarter-finals, he defeated Vidit. Even though he is below 2700, he reached to the semi-finals but lost to Magnus Carlsen in the semis. And in the third-place uh, match, he has defeated Fabiana Caruana in the first game. Second game is due to happen tomorrow. During the World Cup happening in his home country and his dream run, an 18-year-old article has come to light in Reddit, which uh, basically alleges that as a 10-year-old, he had cheated in a chess tournament. So this is the article that appeared in Reddit. It was from a Russian magazine. And you can see this, it is in Russian, it was dated 2005, when Abbaso was just 10 years old. The translation of this article is this. The title is Junior in the Years of a Junior, What Our Children Play. The first all-Russian tournament among school champions took place in Moscow. One day I came to watch the guys play, especially since there was a reason. In a group of up to 10 years old, my student fought with the leader. I liked everything. True, I was a little surprised by the presence of parents and coaches in the playing hall. But I have long, long known the benevolence of the tournament director, Alexander Nikolaevich Kostyev, his desire to turn every children's tournament into a holiday. The presence of the most experienced international arbitrators, Vladimir Stepanovich Bukhtin and Mikhail Abramovich Murchanov, completely reassured. In the meantime, my pupil managed to cross over a tie endgame without a pawn. And only the presence of opposite color bishops inspired some hope. However, the opponent played very accurately, quickly and skillfully, leaving no chance. Entering the hall again, I suddenly saw a man with a working video camera eye on, his, on this game. After two or three moves, he came up again and took a picture. But the third time, he could not stand it and turned to the arbitrator. The operator was removed from the hall and the party ran out of time. And we sat down to disassemble, disassemble it. So, the party means a student who lost to the 10-year-old kid. The analysis showed a strange picture. Out of 60 moves starting from the 10th, 43 are indicated by the computer program as the strongest. Remember, this is a 10-year-old playing chess. Unrest and suspicion arose. I asked the organizers of the games of the, of the games of the previous rounds. The picture turned out to be the same in the five previous games won by the boy. The percentage of coincidences with the program ranged from 60 to 80. Not considering himself an expert in the field of using computer programs, he turned to Doiv, LLC, for help. All six batches were analyzed. Here is a quote from an expert opinion signed by the director of the company, S. Abramo. All of the above points allow us to come to an un unambiguous conclusion that the child regularly received outside help during the game. Expert opinion is, in, is a serious argument. I had to write an official protest. The judges, of course, took action. The boy successfully lost the next two games. The percentage of matches with the program dropped to 16 to 18. Big difference, right? Six games with ab above 60 to 80 precision. And then when the um, <clears throat> next two games, 16 to 18. So what changed in the two games? The uh, It was not allowed for the parents and coaches to come into the playing hall from the next uh, game onwards. It remains to name the hero. Actually, he managed to win the last one and became the winner. The boy successfully lost the next two games, managed to win the last one and became the winner. The, it remains to name the hero, Nijat Abbaso, born in 1995, Baku, second category, participant of the latest World and European Championship under 10 years old. Some of these tournaments are in the chess assistant database. You can watch them. I did not find out who was the boy's coach, coach and accompanied him to this tournament. I hope that a magazine is read in Azerbaijan and they will figure it out themselves. But for some questions, I can't find the answer. How can I explain the situation to my student? How to be the organizers of children's room after all, not to isolate children after all. And most importantly, why was all, all this necessary? So basically, he is alleging, the article is alleging that the guy with the video camera, whoever that is, some think it was his dad, but whoever that is, was signaling about the moves of the engine every, uh, every few moves. Because parents, coaches, everyone was allowed in the hall. And the drop in uh, accuracy or the comparison to engine moves is a big uh, indicator. Now, <laughs> once this post was put up in Reddit, the response has been like huge. Like it's sort of like another Hans Neiman type of uh, situation arising. If this comes to the eyes of the top players.
because FIDE World Cup is a very prestigious event. People have put everything on the line. It's a knockout event, right? So, does this mean that Abbaso cheated in the FIDE World Cup? No, this is no connection to that. It's just that, apart from this, it's also mentioned in some of these comments that he got banned from chess.com. But if the said child then goes on to cheat on chess.com as an adult in Title Tuesday, then it's a different story. So basically, they're saying that I, I couldn't find any proof of this because chess.com does not share uh, such details in public. But uh, it seems it has happened in a Title Tuesday. And if you go through some more, some more comments, let's see. Okay, most of these are uh, basically about uh, whether the child should be blamed for that or should the parent be. Some basic and actually, some have put put their suspicious eyes on the uh, second place winner of FIDE Women's World Cup, Nurgil Salimova, the women I am finalist. So also trained, yeah, she had actually said that Abbaso trained her. And they both had this goal to reach peak of their rating this year. I mean, that doesn't mean anything. But uh, it's enough for people to raise suspicions. When uh, there was an instance of cheating on, when someone was 10 years old. And then when he was 17 years old, he got banned from chess.com for, for that same reason. Or so it says. We don't have proof of any of this, unfortunately. And here is more uh, comments about uh, Shalemova. The other response this girl gave even was more suspicious. At some point, she says, I saw, but no human plays like this. That's just normal. I don't see the point. Her analysis of the, her game was also a joke, very abstract, lacks content and concrete lines, and she's nervous. I felt like I did it, felt good, looked good, didn't look good, very elusive. Okay, that part may be true. It was not a very detailed interview that she is usually given. Okay. So here is a proper uh, summary by one of the commenters. First is this. Second is chess.com ban. That one, we don't have proof yet. It's just a allegation or a conjecture. I'm not sure about that. Fact that he has 2650 in classical for a decade plus, but barely crossed 2550 in blitz and rapid. That is normal. Blitz and rapid rating would be usually lesser than rapid. World Cup is translated without delay. Yeah, This was something FIDE could have, FIDE could have been more uh, proactive in measures against cheating, especially after the recent in incidents, the hand scheme incident, everything. But there was no delay. Even a 15-minute delay would uh, stop any such uh, like suspicions of transmissions being sent between you know, play player and someone outside. So that never happens with delay. Just a 10-15 minutes delay was enough. And I could also not see any specific anti-cheating measures being carried out. Like in the St. Louis tournament, after Hans Neiman was... Uh, uh, <clears throat> And as a scanner, after that, when he played, he, uh, there was a scanner every round that everyone had to be scanned. Only after that, they would be allowed in the tournament hall. I don't think it was there uh, in this World Cup. At least for the semi-finals or quarter-finals, this could have been there. It's held in his home country. Okay. so But yeah, what can we do? It's, it's raising suspicions because mainly it was held in Azerbaijan and two Azerbaijanis came to the top. And uh, both of them were underdog underdogs. Like, uh, one was uh, Nurgul, who got second in Friday Women's World Cup, and uh, she played some really good chess. And the other was Abbaso, who also uh, went till he's going to get third or fourth, basically. He, he lost to Carlson in the semi-finals. All of this is just speculation. I'm just uh, reporting on what just came up on Reddit, in case uh, I mean, most people wouldn't have seen this. But, uh, yeah. If anyone can shed light on these issues, and be uh, please do. We really need to hear more about this, and uh, it can become a big issue if uh, if there is some proof of any of this happening.